Welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games, where we feed our people with relatable content and our victory condition is your satisfaction. I'm Harry, and before we go any further, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell notification. That way, when we are doing our thing, YouTube lets you know. Today, I'm going to be playing through and reviewing this game right here called Bush Poo. This is a push your luck game for children. Disclaimer, this is a paid review. Another disclaimer, this is a very much a prototype copy of the game. So keep that in mind. This gives you an indication of what the components of the game will be comprised of. However, it is not a finalized production. This game will be launching on Kickstarter soon. So if you're interested in that information, check in the description down below for a link to their Kickstarter campaign page. All right, so this is what the game looks like. First of all, we have our player board here, which is basically a track that all the players will be traversing with the aims and goals and aspirations of hopefully being the first person to make it to the end space right here, signified by this golden little potty or toilet that you see at the top of this mountain. However, I must point out that while this is somewhat of a racing game, being the first or the only person actually to arrive to the climax or to the summit of this mountain does not necessarily guarantee that you will win this game. So we have a deck of poo cards here, which mostly consists of these back green backed cards, but we do have five of these cards that have a pink backside. And what we do with these cards is we shuffle them separately from the green ones. And then we place the five cards with the pink backside on the very bottom of what's called the poo deck. Then we have these little chips here in this bag. This is the leaf bag. And we have a few of these red chips that are referred to as poo chips that force players to draw from the poo deck. And then mostly, for the most part, we have these green chips, which are leaf chips and are points or victory points for the players at the end of the game when they draw them. Okay, so we are going to be simulating a two-player game. This game plays from two to four players. Each player gets their own colored meeple. Uh, one player will be the green. The other player here will be this hot pink color right here, or magenta, or whatever color this is. On a player's turn, they have one of two choices. They can either automatically move up one space on this track, or they can choose to discard two cards from the pool deck in order to advance two spaces. So let's start the game. The green player is going to start and they're going to just move one space because they do want to draw. They land on this um, leaf collection space, any space that has a circle with a number on it. These are referred to as leaf collection spaces where a player can draw blindly from this bag and hope to draw positive green chips that will be victory points for them. They draw an amount of chips equal to the number that's found on the circle in this leaf collection space. So for example here, we have one. So this player is going to draw one chip from this bag blindly and they drew a green chip. So they keep this in their player area. This will be a victory point that they will add to their total at the end of the game. The pink player is going to do just the same thing. They also want to draw one bag from the leaf bag. One chip, I should say, from the leaf bag. So here we go. They draw one and they also draw a green leaf chip. Okay, so the green player will go again. And this time, they don't want to just end up on this blank, boring space. So they're going to actually discard two cards from the poo deck in order to advance two spaces. Now, these discarded cards uh, are not activated. You don't do anything. You don't interact with them. Uh, you just simply put them in the discard pile, and then you carry out your two movement actions. So this player will move two spots, and they're here in another leaf collection space. And again, the number there is one. So they will go into this bag and draw one of these. Okay, so they've got a green chip. And again, the pink player will be boring for the time being, and they will follow the example of the green player. And they will draw... A, they will move two spaces, they discarded two cards, and they will draw one of these chips here. And it's a red chip, they got a poo chip. So this will force them to, you discard this chip by the way, this will force them to draw a card from the poo deck here. So they'll draw the top card and they will interact with this. And this right here says delusions, move up to two spaces to the nearest 
player. So you can move up to two places moving towards the nearest player. In this case, um, there is no need to move because the nearest player is the green player, which is in the same exact um, spot. But this could be a very, very helpful card if the player were falling behind. There are three kinds of cards in this deck. There are uh, good luck cards, bad luck cards. The good luck cards either give you victory points at the end of the game or make you do something that's helpful to you. Like, for example, this Delusions card in many scenarios would have been very helpful. And the bad luck cards actually subtract points from your total at the end of the game or they might make you do something that's detrimental to your overall um, objectives in the game. Now, the third type of card that exists is a challenge card. And the challenge is basically it's an open challenge to all of the other players and the active player who drew the card would decide as to who won that challenge or who did it best all right so now we are done with this player's turn they drew their one card and that was just a delusions card we'll move on to player number one uh the green player and the green player is only going to move one space because they want to land on this spot right here and this here has a p and the silhouette of a card here and basically that indicates that whenever you land on one of those poo spaces you draw the top card from the poo deck so we're going to draw this and let's hope that it's beneficial and it is we got some dock leaves and this is going to be an additional victory point at the end of the game so the player sets this aside in their player area along with their chips and keeps on going all right so now the pink player will go and they're actually going to deviate from the green player they're going to discard two cards in order to move two spaces so here we go and now they landed on another leaf collection space they will draw one of these and they've got a green leaf chip so that's very good for them all right now the green player is going to go again and instead of moving forward here they're actually going to try to get to go through a shortcut, to discover a shortcut. So there are two shortcuts in this game. Here's one of them, and here's another one. And it's indicated by a green dotted line. And somewhere in between that space and the next space, there is a circle here with a number indicating that players are gonna have to draw that many chips from the leaf bag. And the only way they're gonna successfully discover that shortcut and make it to the other side is by drawing only leaf chips. You cannot draw any poop chips or else you're gonna have to take the white or red dotted line here, which takes you back even further than where you started. So it's actually gonna be a setback because you did not successfully discover that shortcut. So this player is gonna try to take the shortcut He's going to stop right here on that three, and they're going to draw three chips from this bag. Hopefully, they're all green, and if they are, they'll have successfully discovered this shortcut. So here's the first one, and the first one's a red, so this is a failure. As a matter of fact, as soon as you draw a red chip, that actually um, nullifies the turn altogether, and you are done. You have failed. You will not draw any more. If I had drawn any green chips... I would have kept them even if I had failed afterward. I would have kept the green chips that I have drawn thus far in my supply, but that's not the case. So because I failed, I will go all the way back over here and I'm here on the first space and that is terrible. Now the pink player will go and they feel a little bit more comfortable now that I am way back, but they're still going to, they're gonna flip, discard two cards in order to move two spaces. And now they're on a leaf collection space that actually grants them two draws of the leaf bag. So they're going to draw two from here. And that is a red chip, which forces them to draw from the poo deck instead. So here we go. We've got a mullen leaf, and this gives them one victory point at the end of the game. Whenever you draw a red chip, it's kind of a cancellation of what's going on so you do not continue to draw it basically interrupts the sequence of what's happening and forces players to draw from the poo deck instead okay so this player is done with their turn and now the green player is going to go and they really have to catch up because they are falling behind so they're going to discard two cards in order to move two spaces and they are going to draw from the leaf bag and they've got another green chip 
for a leaf chip, which is great. Now the pink player is going to go and they feel pretty comfortable with their lead. So they're actually going to try this huge shortcut right here. This shortcut would save them so many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So they're going to take this shortcut. And the good thing about, oh no, they can't take the shortcut yet. Actually, I'm sorry. The shortcut goes from here. So they're still going to have to move one space forward before they try that. So they're going to move that one space because they really want to take that shortcut. But because they landed on this spot with the P, they are going to have to draw from the poop deck. So here we go. Tell a poop joke. Oh, goodness. So this is what I refer to as a challenge card. And when a challenge happens, you ask the other player um, or the other players to um, fulfill the challenge. And if they do so successfully, you pick one of the players and that player gains a green chip. Since we're only playing a two-player game, you would look at the other player and tell them to make a poop joke. Guys, I don't have any good ones. Sorry. But because I'm the only player, let's just assume that I won this challenge and the pink player allows me to look through the bag. This time it's not a push your luck thing. And get, grab yourself a green chip, a guaranteed green chip for successfully fulfilling the challenge. In this case, telling a poop joke. Okay, so the pink player is done. Now we're gonna go to the uh, the green player and they still wanna try this shortcut thing because they feel terrible about being this behind. So they're only gonna move one space over here. They're gonna draw the top card from the poo deck and it says here, embarrassing gas. All other players move one space away. Wow, so all our players are going to move one space further away from wherever they are in relation to you. So this is actually bad and good. In the case of the pink player, you might think it's good because they get to advance one spot. But it's actually bad because the pink player wanted to be on this spot because they were going to try to take this shortcut. So it actually worked out in the favor of the green player. All right, so now the pink player will go again and original plan was thwarted, they're going to choose to discard two cards in order to advance two spaces. So they're over here. And now they are going to draw three chips from the uh, leaf bag because this leaf collection space has the number three in it. And what do we have here? We've got a green chip for the first one. And a green chip for the second one. And a green chip for the third one. So that was very rewarding for them. Now the green player will go. And they're desperately trying to catch up here. They're falling behind. They're actually going to give up on this shortcut space. And they're going to discard two cards over here. To advance two spaces. Make it right here to this poo deck space. So they got to draw the top card from the poo deck. And it is a mullen leaf, so they will get gain this mullen leaf here for their victory point area. So that's an additional um, point for them at the end of the game. And now the pink player will go, and it's off to the races, folks. They're going to discard two cards to move two spaces, draw the top card from the poo deck, and it's another mullen leaf for a victory point. Now the green player is going to go, and they are going to. They're going to discard two cards here, try to make it as far as they can. They're going to go over here. They're going to draw the top card from the poo deck. And it says, give a leg up, move to any player's space, bump them forward one space though. Huh, that's interesting. I'm wondering, perhaps this might be the green player's best chance. Well, you got to do that. So their only other player is the pink player. So they'll move over here. And it bumps the player up one space over here. Okay, so now the pink player will go. And they're going to discard two cards. In order to make it all the way to the final spot right here. The toilet spot. And this spot, the player who makes it to this spot is going to get 10 bonus points added to their total. So at the end of the game, you count... Any bonuses you got from where you made it on the board, plus all of your green chips, any additional points from some good luck cards you might have drawn from the poo deck, 
and you subtract any negative points you might have acquired from the same pool deck. Any player who's within the first five spaces of the board will have 10 points subtracted from their total at the end of the game, but that is not the case with any of the players involved. So we would count the points. The pink player made it here. They get that 10 point bonus, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. The green player only has two, three, four, five, and six. So the pink player is the winner of this game. Let's get back and hear my final thoughts as far as this game is concerned. So what are my final thoughts about Bush Poo? Bush Poo is exactly what it claims to be. A fun little push your luck game for children with a silly lighthearted theme. Um, if that is the kind of game that you like to play with your children, then this game will fit the bill, so to speak. If you're looking for something more strategic or tactical, that's probably not the case. There are some um, opportunities for players to make somewhat thoughtful decisions, but it's always with a risk versus reward perspective, a push your luck perspective. Is it worth making that decision? And is the probability that it's going to happen good? For example, am I going to take a shortcut after I know that there's not that many chips left in the bag and that there's still lots of red chips still in the bag, perhaps I don't want to take that shortcut. But quite often, kids are not going to really think on those profound terms. They're just going to wing it and they're going to say, hey, this is fun. Let me see if I could do it. Let me risk it. And if I succeed, yay. And if not, too bad, so sad. It is a little bit of a race game. You're trying to race to the mountaintop into that golden potty at the top. And, uh, and that's a fun little aspect of the game. Um, the negative points that you draw from the bad luck cards in the deck, that's not too big of a deal. I don't really mind that. I think that's fine. I think most kids will handle that. But I do have one caveat, and, that, and that's I don't think I personally will ever play with one of the cards in the deck, in the poop deck. Um, it's a card that basically undoes the, the player's entire progress and makes them return all the way back to the starting space. I don't think I personally will play with that card again. If there was a weakness to this game, because again, this is a very light, press your luck game for children. So it's hard for me to actually say that there's any weaknesses to it. But if there were one weakness, I would say that that card is a weakness. Because one of the games that I played with my son, he was actually doing the worst out of the other two people playing. There was three of us playing. He was in last place. But you know what? He was hanging in there and he was at least going to make it make a lot of progress towards the mountain. But as the game was winding down to the end and as myself and one of the other players was uh, approaching the golden potty, my son drew that card that made him go all the way back to the starting space. Mind you, he had so many negative points at that point and he was third place in the race with no hopes of being first. And then he has to start all the way back in the the start and on top of that if you're within the first five spaces at the end of the game that's negative 10 points to your total and his total was already in the negatives so again it was just really really sad really really bad luck in that case i understand this is a push your luck game and perhaps you do want some of those cards that undo your progress but i just find that going all the way back to the start space was a little too much but again it's a very simple solution to that problem if it is a problem to you many gamers won't even mind that type of card being in their deck at all but if you're like me and you mind that being in your deck very easy to resolve just simply take out that one card and make sure that it's not in your poop deck but aside from that really really cool again you could take it a little bit more seriously and try to as you play the game more memorize the composition of the decks and the composition of the chips in the little bag that you draw and kind of know what's the ratio of one versus another and the likelihood or again you could just take it as lighthearted, silly fun wing it play it as you go and see what happens again positive review for bush poo a toilet emergency game for the whole family check in the description down below for more information on this game on kickstarter see if you are interested and if you want to pledge also, check in the description down below for a link to our Patreon account and see how you can support this channel and become more involved with the behind the scenes process. Research and find a tier that works for you. This is Harry saying take care everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.